Okay. I think I'm finally gonna start back with the uh, emulator series. And in this one, um, I want to do the Genesis emulator, which would be um, Kega Fusion or just Fusion, is is what's called basically. Um, the game or the emulator hasn't been updated in nine years, so you know it's it's a little behind, but it, it works really well. So don't worry. Okay, so I'll link this in the description so you can download it. Uh, basically, just uh, come down here to where it says download and just download this. And then in your files, you'll get this, the Fusion 364 7-Zip. So you need to download 7-Zip, so I'll put a link in the description for 7-Zip. So just click uh, this download button and it'll download it for you. Or if you have a 32-bit system, then just download the 32-bit one. And then go into your files, right-click it, and over here in 7-Zip, just click Extract Files. And OK. And it'll extract right here. And you can run it from here, you can send it to desktop, you can put it in a folder, do whatever you need to do. But that's how you set all that up. So once you have it, um, there's not that much set up. Let me launch it real quick. I guess it would be Fusion, wouldn't it? Yeah, so launch it. Go into options. Um, I would immediately go to set config go to controllers. You want to set up a three button pad or a six button pad depending on what you want. I would definitely use your controller. You can apparently play with your mouse. I don't know how you'd manage that. There's a lot of controls and all you have to do is just click to find to set your controls for it. These settings just set your bios and stuff which you don't really need to do. So don't worry about those. Um, you can show FPS. I think that's on by default. but you're probably going to be running it at 60 no matter what because it's not hard to run. You can turn scan lines on if you want. Uh, V-Sync. And uh, for some reason the full screen resolution set at like 800 by 600 by default. You can turn it to your full screen resolution. Or you can even set it to like 1080 or whatever your monitor set. Uh, these TV modes, uh, I don't think they're going to help. <laughs> Um, if you do fit, fix aspect zoom, it'll make it like completely full screen without black bars, but it might zoom in too much and it'll mess up the game. So I just like keeping it at where it's at. Sound, uh, this will be checked by default as well. And then I'll show you how to load games in a minute. Okay. So to load um, Genesis games, you can also load um, Sega CDs, Game Gear, and Master System. I think Master System is just the uh, European version. You can either go into the file menu, or you can just click Control G on your keyboard, and it'll open up to where you last loaded your game, so mine's in my Genesis Games folder. So I click Open, then it'll run. Like so. And to go full screen, you can either go to Video, and just click full screen, or you can press Escape. Or you can press Alt Enter, which pretty much full screens any application. You can use Escape though. So you go in, and I'll show you that it plays pretty nice. I haven't played uh, in a while, so I'm probably gonna be pretty bad. <laughs> like so. That's not what I So as you can see, it performs very nice. If I turn my frame rate on, it'd just tell me that I was getting 60, to be honest. I don't think you can go past 60. And uh, you can play pretty much any Sega game. There and there's a little tearing at the bottom. If you turn V-Sync on, I believe it fixes the, fixes the tearing issue. Wow, game things. So, it definitely works pretty well. Uh, overall, this is not hard to set up at all because it's, it's pretty much set up for you from the beginning. Uh, so, you know, you can enjoy this one very easily. And if you want to not have tearing, just V-Sync, I would recommend. 
Um, just make sure you set it to your resolution when you go in or else it's going to be low quality. So I'd set it to your, your resolution and make sure you go into your controller settings to set your controller up so you can play. Or you can play with your keyboard if you want. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.